kumusta? So, karon um, naghuwat na lang mi sa time para mo to sa kasal. Ka remember mo sa previous na ko na videos, nag-unbox ko um, Indian wedding invitation. So, mga to me, katunga invitation, gikan to sa among silingan diri. And kami ron duha representative ni Ja since dili man siya close family Jude to so, pwede ra either namo or among parents diri or ang sister-in-law nako na but then um na may bata so karon kami lang duha and naghuwat na lang mi sa time actually it's already 6:43 diri and nagmanicure na lang ko actually ang invitation starts at 6 pm but then Napa na mga traditions na i-follow, na pay prayers, sa balay. So, naka-decide mi na adto na mi diretso sa reception. Kauna diretso. <laughs> so, around mga 9, mi mang lakaw. So, i-update mo, ipakita na ako ninyo ang first na na farm wedding. So, while we were preparing around 7pm, mauni ang ganap sa groom's house. So, medyo ngit-ngit, kaya nagpahipira ko og record gikan sa among balay. During this time, naibanda nga naghuwat sa groom sa gawas and usually participated by the close family relatives. So around 8 p.m., nangagi na sila sa balay and what you can see here is called Bharat. It is a groom's wedding procession in India, in North India particularly and the groom and his horse are covered with colorful cloth and flowers and they don't usually take part in the dancing and singing so close family relatives lang and they're going to the venue but since ang wedding venue is quite far from our place so I think ang groom mutuyok lang around the area and then musakay na ugar padung sa wedding venue. 4 p.m. So, padulong nami sa venue. Medyo tugnaw gihapon. So, good luck sa farm wedding. Indian wedding. So, see you! Okay, guys. So, abot nami. Pag-oras at naabot ang groom. Pakita ta mo sa groom. Time check, it's 9.45 p.m. And what is happening right now is ang groom na adapit sa portahan and ang uban guest maupasay pag-abot. So, naghuwat na lang minga makasood most of the guests and the groom as well. And kanisyang horse carriage ngayon yung makita. This is usually used by, by the groom. So, I think pag naog sa groom sa car, he sakay siya ni Kadiyot and then maybe took some photos and then naog din padung nasud sa venue. So guys, here's the bridal car but tili pa ni siya gamiton by the groom or the bride. It is only used once na mahuma na ang ceremony na once nakasal na sila. So this is the car that they are going to use going to their new house or sa balay sa groom usually. So, karon naguwat na lang dyan may nga ma, medyo man, manood na ning mga bisita. And, by the way, ang bride wala pa naabot. So, sa atong gingon, save the best for last. So, paawit dyan na siya ang bida. So, karon nanayaw pa ni ang close family relatives sa groom. And, some photoshoot going on. And, kani mga nagagi, mauni sila ganina ang na nagtukar sa barat katong nangagi ni Agi sila sa house so karon na hinay na mixod so look at the design look at the setup guys this is normally how Indian wedding looks like so based from the music the setup and the liveliness, dili ka makaingon na hapit na 10 p.m. So, magsugod pa lang jud ang ceremony. So, karon na nami sa level 1 sa venue. So, mga tao na ginahinay nagsood and the groom still having photo shoot. And then, greet, meet and greet sa mga nagkaila and welcome me. Nangita pa familiar faces. So, 
And look at the dresses. Bonga. So we are now on our way to the reception area. And here, you can see ladies with a ribbon. They're actually waiting for the groom. Traditionally, they are from the bride's side and today, they are authorized to demand anything from the groom. It can be cash or jewelry. The cash can be 10000 20000 or even higher. So it depends on the groom if he agrees just to go through that ribbon or try to bargain just like what my husband did. Now guys, see how beautiful the setup is. We are now in the reception area and wow. The number of people is just huge. So I think we're going to check out this section first. And just roam around. So actually, you can also have the wedding reception in the hotels. However, if you have 500 guests or more, so farm weddings are better options. So here is our spot and looks like it's interesting section here. So we're going to check out what's going on here. Imagine pilakataw So, ano rin na siya, ang couple, naran na sila yung mga na prayers and the closest relatives, maoy mo assist. So, the rest, ang mga silingan, ang mga friends, yung mga waypaking, ang mga around kaon, dara. So, naran na yung magpasipaso mga tubig. At isa na may nakailang nga silingan o sadari. So here is Gordon Ramsay doing some live cooking show. Now actually, this is another section of the buffet. And Kuya here is making dosa batter. I wanted to try but then taas ang linya. So we decided to check out the coffee section. So here you can actually get coffee, chai, and they even have shakes. But then it's still winter so we decided to have coffee. So you can just actually roam around, have coffee as much as you can, have chai as much as you can, or have dosa as much as you can. No one is stopping you. Just enjoy the event. So while waiting for the coffee, I actually saw soup. So they also serve soup, but then I already ordered coffee. So I just showed you the first part of this Hindu wedding and stay tuned for the part two because I'm going to show you the main food the arrival of the groom and the bride and the other things that are going on in this beautiful Indian wedding. Stay tuned, please subscribe, reporting Pinay India. Bye!